Right, so you, you wanted like the two horizontal pieces of one on top of the other, but you don't want your eye level in the space between, right? We can't so have you're them trying to think of like... Is it too close to have them like boom, boom? What do you mean, side by side? Yeah, yeah. like how I did on the doll and the money. Don't point. Pointing is bad. Okay, we just like the camera. We like to be on the phone. We love, we like to be camera advised. Camera advised. We love being cameratized. Camera advised. <laughs> Mind if I uh, tag along? Today we have Mark Gonzalez and Christian Hasoy basically just talking to each other about events in skateboarding that happened more than 20 years ago. And after I did this interview, I just had this like rush of euphoria because it was like, I couldn't believe that I got those guys talking on camera for me or for this show. What's kind of interesting is you can see the influence that Hosoi had on Mark Gonzalez because Hosoi was a vert skater and he'd do all these inverts and all these certain kind of like grinds and tweak them a certain way. And Mark took that to the street. You know, you'd see a hand plant on vert and then Mark would do these really cool street plants. And it's so fascinating to me to see that Mark is this legendary skater and it's funny to see him sort of intimidated by Hasoy, that, that Hasoy is his idol. I mean, these really are the people that made skateboarding what it is today. No, this is a... No, so, hold it. So, what, just put it somewhere so you can hear it. Yeah, God bless you. Here's Mark. Bye-bye. Mom, how are you? His mom just said she seen me when I was 16. And so, I'm 39, I'll be 40. So, 16, so that's 24 years maybe? We, we kind of, you know, we just talked about it over dinner tonight and we were just saying, was there any conflict in, ever between us? And there really has never been. Yeah. You know, me and him have always like, kind of seen eye to eye. It was really weird. My friend, I had a friend, we were both whatever, we got into skateboarding, we were into it. And uh, he said, you know, Christian lives in downtown LA, you know, near a supermarket or like some spot. And so we fought, I mean, excuse my language, so I don't want to say curse words. Well, I can cuss, I like to cuss. So I said, fuck, we, we were like, fuck, where does he live? We're gonna go look for him. We like went all around LA, downtown, like there's like the garment district, looking for like a, a, a market. Like we heard that you live near like a produce market or something near downtown LA. We're going all around, like looking, trying to see if we could find a sticker that said like Thrasher or like, it's, you know, see skateboard type, you know, st stuff around. And then you'd say, okay, it might be here and like hang out in that area and then wait to see the, the pro that you're looking for or whatever. That's how much of a, of a idol he was to me and my friends. And when I lived in Glendora, I rode my, uh, my stepmother's 10 speed and had a carriage for a baby seat too, like, you know, to, bu to put a, a baby in the seat. So here I am riding a, a girl's bike by myself to, to Pomona, and I'm like at Pomona watching the skaters. I'm standing on the fence, you know, and I can't go in there because it's all the pros practicing up for the comp. You didn't show up yet, but I think you were at that comp, were you? I, I, I was there later. You, I think uh, Rusty Harris died at that contest. Whoa. The photographer? Yeah. Do you remember that? I don't remember Rusty Harris. I just remember the Rusty Harris Pro-Am yeah. series. He had, a, he had a heart attack there, and that's why they started the Rusty Harris series. Whoa. Well, I was watching the practice. Tony Hawk's dad was there. Maybe you were there. Huh? His dad had a cooler. Tony Hawk's dad had a cooler of drinks for the guys. They're there practicing. I was looking for Christian. I liked his inverts, because his inverts, they weren't like a Smithvert. His inverts looked like an aerial, because he was like... The way he tweaked his inverts was like an air. You know how he did it. Uh, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I just did it. Probably the first collaboration was when you let me borrow your board. Yeah, you know That what? was probably the first collaboration. Yeah, yeah. When, uh, and it got a picture in the magazine. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, it's him hauling off the roof. You know, seeing him as a little kid, I mean, we're almost the same age now that he told me he's like, I'm 38 and I'm only 39. 
But at the time, I thought he was like a really young kid, you know, because I've already been pro for three or four years. You know, I think it was like I was 16, so I was pro at 14, so it's been a couple of years. And so I thought I was all old. And uh, when we pick him up and take him home, me and my dad always said, man, this kid's got something else, something different. I could say this, he, before he was even known, his skating style was already different. He looked at things and skated things completely different. And that's how come skateboarding is what it is today. I mean, freestyle obviously had a big part on street style. Vert had a huge part on, you know, just influencing skaters in general. But I think that his type of skating, taking his, his the way that Mark thinks, it is just more extraordinary. Even, if, I don't know if he knew it or not, that he was being really artistic and, and, and uh, influential, but he definitely was influencing people whether he believed it or not. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. You know, to have, a, to have someone that you look up to like an idol and then to have him say that, it's weird, but... Next up, from Los Angeles, California, skating for Alvis Gates, Christian Hussoy. I got another story, it's trippy. I took the bus from, uh, from where I lived, I take the bus to, uh, to Santa Monica, and I'm in Santa Monica, and uh, I'm right there where I catch the bus, I get off the bus, and I, and I eyeball him, and I go, whoa, and like, cause I'm always looking, and I eyeball him, and I say, whoa, there, there he is, that's him, that's Hussoy. When I met him, and he knew, like, I was gonna get sponsored by Alva, he just had a pro model on Alva. I wouldn't have rode for Alva if he wasn't on there. <laughs> wow. So that's sick. That's so, sick for me. No, I mean I love Tony okay, Alva cool. too. I mean I yeah, love yeah, Tony yeah, Alva yeah. too, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta like say that you have to have a mentor. You have to have somebody that tells you, look at Christian, he's the one, or like look at Shogo, look watch how Shogo does it. You need somebody to tell you like what's up. You can't just find out what's up on your own. I mean you say I'm creative, like I'm like a leader, but you know to be a leader you need to have. A, you have to have the right teachers. Have you, you guys collaborated on anything besides this? Like, oh, the something else. Oh, uh, what is you it? You remember the something else? What is it? I'm doing a street plant, and you're doing like a frontside oh, one-footed <laughs> hair over me. That's so stupid. That is bad. I'm wearing baby blue. I'm wearing baby blue straight leg sweatpants with white polka dots. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> We're traveling around Europe, and... Uh, He's at the cafe downstairs from the hotel. So I'm having the press A orange, and then I'm, I come over to where you're at, and I said, well, what the hell are you doing? Like, what, what are you doing? And he's riding away, riding away. He goes, uh, he goes, chicks. <laughs> he goes, chicks. Like, what do you mean? He goes, girls. He goes, you're going to have girls in every city that you write to. And uh, for you people out there that are into collecting art, track down these girls and buy his <laughs> postcards because if I was a collector I'm not a collector of anything I don't collect anything except smiles uh, I would uh, definitely collect Christian Hosoi postcards that he sent to girls that's what I would collect that's good that's good I like that Mark so that's how I got into I never into... thought about that but that's how I got into writing my bullshit like I would write bullshit letters to people saying like like you know like that's what you know when I'm writing the postcard that's in my mind that's what's happening in my mind you know the sounds what's really funny is that I would write the same thing on every single postcard <laughs> I want those postcards. So you'll get, you'll go to one town. It'll say the same thing as it says in another town for the girl. Yeah. That's what I want. That's those bad. postcards. I want yeah. those postcards. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's I can't bad. take it. That's history, though. That's history. <laughs> so you've got to change your ways about writing the same postcards yeah, to the same yeah. girls. I've definitely changed my ways. Awesome. You guys are awesome. It means a lot to me that you guys did that interview. I mean, you know, people stalk. That's what people do. That's the basic truth to 
human beings is they are stalkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, he found me.